Though there are default rules already included in Primero, there are some circumstances when you may need to create a new rule. Let's walk through how to do that. First, from the left-hand navigation bar, click on Settings. Then click on Roles. Then click on New. This pulls up a form in which you can set actions, resources, management, and forms a user with this role can access. When you're done, remember to click on the Save button. Let's walk through the form. First, there's a question here. Can this role be used for external transfers? And can this role be used for external referrals? These are both checkboxes. If you check it, it means that this role will appear in the refer a case or transfer a case type in the external referral or transfer form. For example, if you are referring to a hospital or another instance of Primero. So you can create a role called, for example, medical service provider, and then that role can have access to certain forms. These forms will be the forms that are in the export for the transfer or referral. As mentioned in a previous video, the question here about what role, what records does this role affect? This determines the breadth of data this role can see. The options are access only my records or user, access all records or users in my user group, access only records or users in my agency, access all records or users, or no record access admin functionality only. Next, let's look at permissions. View means you can only view a case. Create means you can only create a case. And edit means you can modify a case. As you can see, there's a very long list of permissions. You'll need to review this list to understand the various functionalities a role can have permission to do. Please note that you can also hover over any field within a role, and you can view helpful tooltips that describe what each of these mean. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see one that says Manage. The Manage option means all of the above, and you can do whatever you want to the case, record, or user. If you select Manage, you do not need to select any other options above. Manage also allows users to create or edit user roles if they have this permission. If you keep scrolling, you'll also see permissions for incident and tracing requests. Just as before, review the list and determine with your team if this role requires these permissions, as especially tracing requests is specific just to child protection. You can also change what roles this role has access to for admin users. This setting is found as a permission under the roles section. You can create a role that manages an agency's roles and can set which permissions, such as view, edit, assign. This will ensure that there aren't super users in the system with infinite access to records. View means the role can have read access to the above mentioned roles. Edit means they can modify those roles, and assign means they can assign those roles to users. Copy means they can duplicate the role for easy user management. Again, if Manage is selected here, it overrides any combination of the permissions checked above and gives access to all options in that section. Next, under the Users section, this determines what information is visible to this role about users. If they have view access, they can see all the users in the system. If they have edit access, they can create users or modify them. If they have manage access, they can do all of the above. If the agency view is selected, then this role has the ability to create users only for their own agency and not for the system as a whole, which is especially important if there are multiple agencies using this system. Next, we have the user group section. Just as mentioned with the users, selecting any of these criteria determines if this role can create, view, or assign user groups. Then we have the agency section. This determines if the role can edit, assign, or view agencies in the system. Next, forms and lookups. If you click on this, they will then be able to modify forms and lookups in the system, which we will walk through in a separate video on configuration. On the Reports section, this determines if the role can view or create reports. 
then the dashboard section. This determines which values appear in the user's dashboard. The dashboard is a landing page of Primero once a user logs in. It will also determine if a user can view protection concerns filters on the case list page. Under the forms section, if all forms are checked, this means that the user role will be able to view all forms. It's highly unlikely that one user would need to view all forms. If one or two forms are selected, or just a few, then only those forms selected are viewable by this role. If you're a CPIMS system administrator, you might be wondering why incidents are in the same form. Or if you're a GBVIMS system administrator, you might wonder why you can see tracing forms, for example. The list of forms for cases contains forms for both CP and GBV modules. For the user to see the form, the role must have access to the form and the username must have access to that module. You can also edit existing roles. To do that, we'll click on Roles, find the role name from the list, and select it. Once inside, you can click Edit. From here, you can make any of the needed changes and then remember to hit Save. There's one important role in Primero, the Administrator role. An administrator is defined as having the all-encompassing Manage permission for roles, users, user groups, agencies, system settings, and forms and lookups.